In Matthew chapter number 25, 14 to 30. This is where me and bankers, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't agree. The Bible says he gave one to one five talent. He gave one to another two talent. He gave to another one talent. He gave to every man according to their several ability. And in verse 15, he says, And he that had five talents went and traded. Not he went and prayed. He went and he traded. If you cannot sell, you cannot be rich. True. So you can't tell me you don't know how to sell. You have to learn to sell. You have to. So he that had five talents went and traded and came back. And I believe that that man was from, from the southeast, was an Abama. Because they know how to multiply the container and the mabia. But the one that was a two talent was from the West. Bank up and down, stock market, financial crisis up and down. So he came back with two. But the one that was one talent, I'm sure, was a Niger Delta boy. Because all of us, our resources are always under the ground. They bury that talent. <laughs> I don't know for trouble, though. He had one talent, so he buried it under the ground. So when the master came, and he said to him, what did you do with your talent? He said, you're a wicked master. It is only us from the Niger Delta. When you greet, when you say hi to us, we first greet you with an insult. You're a wicked master. You reap where you did not sow. Give us our money. Why didn't you make us the chairman of the Umpire Debt Commission? We start with petition. <laughs> we start with petition, especially from the Niger Delta. Area, we did? We did. Uh-huh. We did. So he that had one talent went and buried it. And the master said, at least you should have put the money in the bank so that I get interest. Listen to what you have just said. At least you should have put the money in the bank. That means the least form of investment by God is keeping your money in the bank. When you keep money in the bank, what you are telling God is you cannot think. That's what you have told God. So if you cannot think, let the bank think for you. So if you carry a, a calculator now, somebody with a calculator, and you put one million in the bank, how much would they give you at the end of one year? 13%. So that means your value for one month is 1%. 1% of one million divided by 30 days, 0.0003%. That is, you are just worth 30 cobble. That is your value because you cannot think. At least. At least. That is why you need to learn how to sell. Okay, the man had one talent. The value of one talent is equal to $1.126 million. That's what it is. So the man had over $400 million, which he had in his hand. And he didn't know what to do. Because people just think there's just one talent. That one talent, one talent of gold, so five ounces, an equivalent of 401 million naira. If I gave you 400 million, what would you do with it? Somebody will smile now. Please be careful. Prepare your mind because the higher the level, the higher the devil. Some of us can manage a hundred thousand, but if they give you two million, you abuse the money. So I always tell you, prepare your mind before the money comes. Now, the person that made everything in me become successful was a man called Job. Job in the Bible. You know Job. The Bible says there was a man called Job from the land of Or in Akwaibom State. It's in the Bible. Job chapter 1 verse 1. Check it. The Bible says they had seven sons and three daughters. That means they had family problems. Because once you have two brothers, they quarrel. And they have two sisters, they quarrel. And the man was the richest man in the East from Dubai to India. So if he was in this time, he would have been in Forbes. So the man would have been the richest man in the Middle East. Correct, no problem. So what happened is that the man, if this man was that rich, I now ask myself, how rich is he? In the book of Job chapter 1 verse 3, they say he had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camel, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 shias. I said, okay, no problem. Now in those days, they did not have GT Bank, Zenith Bank, UBA. If it was in this time, a goat, which is a sheep, is 50,000 naira. And if 50,000 naira times 7,000 sheep is equivalent of 350 million naira only. Eh? Now, if it was to, a, a camel is used to carry load, it's like a Canadian Chukwu transport, one lorry there is 20 million naira. You get it. Eh? And he had 
3,000, that is 60 billion naira. Okwea, you get it. Then he had 500 yoke of oxen. A yoke of oxen is two cows. One cow is two, one, this muscular cows, 200,000 naira. He had 1,000, that is 200 million. Then he had 500 shiasses. A shiasses is a donkey. A donkey is like a Hilux pickup. Used to carry small, small load. Equivalent of 17.5 million per one. Times 500. That's 8.5 billion. So Job chapter 1, verse 3, is equal to um, 69 billion, 300 million. That is what my cousin, my uncle, Job had. And he was perfect, upright, feared the Lord, and extreme evil. That was how I became rich. That if my uncle Job can be this rich, we die here. We die here. We die here. And then I checked in Job 42 that God gave him double portion. My brother, my account is warming up. I'm waiting. So I began to ask myself, according to scripture, is there anybody that is that rich? Because we keep using a lot of unbelievers as being successful. So I now checked in the scripture. Who has made that money? Somebody like um, Aliko Dangote, 18.9 billion. That's how much the man is worth. So I divided the man in talent because the talent is $1.125 million. So I came to like 16,700 talent only. Then Bill Gates was, was my man, $72 billion, equivalent of 65,300 talent. Does anybody have that kind of talent in the Bible? Then I saw my friend, his name is David, in 1 Chronicles 22, verse 14, says, and David kept for the house of the Lord 100 thousand talent of gold, a million talent of silver, bronze that could not be measured. 100,000 talent is over 52 trillion naira. This is what one man kept for a house, not for an estate, a house. The budget of Nigeria is 8.3 trillion. One man kept to build a house for gold, 52 trillion naira. This man did not go to primary school, did not go to secondary school, did not go to university, did not go to business school with me, but the man kept this aside. He kept this aside. I don't want to mention his son, Solo. Solo built a temple and then a babe who came to try him, Queen of Sheba, said who is this young boy came there when she saw the way the house was so if you live in a house that is not fine there's a problem with your productivity because when she came and she saw the ascent and the descent the tile on the floor she first dropped 120 talent of gold 64 billion naira when she saw the way the boys were working in that place your image matters to the kind of money that is attracted to you your image matters. Don't take your image for granted. Look like God. 